Hey guys, and welcome to the Franklin Foundation's YouTube channel where I talk about all things wifehood, womanhood, and motherhood. Hi, my name is Katie Franklin, if you are new, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a faith-based video for you guys and chatting about a topic that's not very popular today, <laughs> but it is about wives submitting to your husbands. This is biblical. If you've opened the word, if you've looked at it, whether you like this concept or not, it is in there. Ephesians 5.22 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. And then, just a little ways down the Bible, it says it again. It's reoccurring. It's mentioned over and over and over again in the Bible. We can't get away from it. Sorry, ladies. But when I say submit, the way God formed this in marriage, he did not mean it to be like bondage or slavery, which a lot of people have came to think this is what submission is. It is not, I promise. If you do it in God's way and your husband is a godly man, he will honor you and it will be just a perfect marriage. But why God has this set up in this certain way as the man, as the head and the woman as not <laughs> is because women are the weaker vessel and you can find this in first wait yes first Peter 3 7 it mentions that and so we just do not have the capacity to lead we are a creature that is ruled by emotions and I believe this to be true because I'm a woman I know how I am my husband <laughs> has a lot more control than I do in certain times and also, a marriage is such a holy thing. A marriage between a man and a woman is meant to be the small-scale model of Christ and the church. And what I mean when I say that is, the man is supposed to be like Jesus Christ. And the wife is supposed to be like the church. So the man will honor his wife as Christ honors the church. And the woman will submit and serve the man and love the man as us as a church do Christ. And in doing this, we just show the world the gospel in such a beautiful, beautiful way. Now in today's feminist era we are living in, women do not like the idea of this. But the rewards of living in submission to your husband are so amazing. For one, you have God's favor because that's how he made it all work out. And I'm just saying, if you're for the women that are in the role that their husband is not a saved man and you're sitting there thinking, there is no way that I can submit to this man because he is not after God's heart. Well, there's a promise for you right in God's word about that as well. And it's in 1 Peter 3, and it starts with 1, which is the most important part. And it says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also obey without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. So what this means is if you are meek, and humble and you love your husband just as the church loves Christ and treat him as such he is going to see that through you he is going to see Jesus through you and he is not going to be able to handle it I don't care if he is just an awful bitter ruthless man he will crumble underneath your meek countenance and your love that you are showing him and he will see Christ through you and that is encouraging. I am so blessed. My husband is a church. I have a faith-based home. And my heart goes out to all these women that are in that situation that don't have that godly head of their home. But that right there is scripture, God-given, God-ordained, that you have a promise. If you be that submissive wife, even if your husband is not a godly man, now this comes with some clauses if he's making you do immoral things, stuff that goes against word of course you don't have to submit to that but just recognizing him as the authority in your home 
he will honor you. He cannot treat you poorly when you show the light of God. Now, if you're not submissive and you're fighting and <laughs> slandering each other and just at each other's throats, you will not win your husband because you are not showing my hair is jacked up. You are not showing the light of Christ. You are just being an advocate for the devil. And all I got to say is good luck, honey, in your marriage because you cannot go into marriage and have pride. When you are humble and you bring yourself down, think the least of yourself, that is when God will raise you up. He will take your marriage and make it into something absolutely beautiful. Now, I want to share with you all a book that I have read about three times now. I've been married for four years and I've read this book once a year every time. Every I try to read it every year because whew, Lord, it helps get me back where I need to be in my mindset as a wife. Now, if you have any bit of pride in you at all or you don't like being told the truth, you don't need to read this book because this woman tells it like it is. And she's brutal about it, but I love it because sometimes my flesh needs some beating down and I need to be reminded what my purpose is as a wife. Right. <laughs> but this is called Created to Be His Helpmeet by Debbie Pearl. Now, I don't know Debbie personally, but if you look on their website, she seems like a hardcore holiness type woman. That's okay. But she sticks to the word, tells it like it is. Her husband put some input in here about it. And I mean, I could not recommend a book for wives more than this. If you want to see a transformation in your marriage, if you want to see God work and just see your husband, I don't know. If you're a bitter woman and your husband is always like, God, I wish you'd stop nagging, this and that. If you're having any kinds of trouble in your marriage, read this. Get yourself knocked down a few s slots on the pedestal. <laughs> Abound in humility and watch God work. I mean, this. You need to read this book. If you are married, if you are engaged, I don't, if you're not even thinking about getting married right now, but you know you will plan to in the future, and you want God's uh, hand blessing on your marriage you need to read this as a woman even if your husband's the worst man on earth follow this watch god work i promise it's there's a men's book as well created to need a help me my husband has got it and he has read it before he ever read that if i just took one thing out of this book and i just started doing it didn't say nothing i noticed a change in him instantly it was so much easier for him to love me he just made me feel so cherished and I was like this is so simple if we could just serve each other as a husband and wife are supposed to loving each other just comes so naturally <laughs> but I hope you all have got some encouragement from this today my heart is just to encourage wives I know I'm a young wife I do not know all things by any means but this book is highly recommended for me and I just would love to hear a testimony from one of you guys after you put this to work down in the comments and just let me know how God's transformed your marriage. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked this biblical type content. Comment down below if you'd like to see more of it or if you just want to chat with me. I always try to reply to your comments. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all at my next one. Bye!